to celebrate the beginning of a whole new venture for us uh, with Reground Organics. The last few years we have been collecting, separating our coffee grounds and recycling them. In Canada, it's important to know that each year 300,000 tons of coffee are produced. We have taken 117,000 pounds of that in the last two years, turned it into potable soil uh, with the help of Reground Organic. Grounds to Gardens is our way of celebrating how Eglinton Square and Cloverdale Mall have managed to recycle our brewed coffee grounds and turn it into a sustainable potting soil. From 11 to 3 today, we've got our electronic waste collection out in the parking lot. With every e-waste donation, you get a free bag of our sustainable potting soil. Or you can come inside the mall and for $2 to Evergreen, you get a bag of the sustainable potting soil as well. We also have our kids planter where children can uh, come up and uh, plant pansies and uh, take them home for free. Grounds to Gardens kind of came from the idea that we can recycle our coffee grounds. We've always been recycling our coffee grounds and before we've been throwing it on our flower beds, but because the coffee is such a popular beverage, there's, it just keeps piling up. Enter Reground Organics, who came to us with the idea that they can turn it into a sustainable potting soil. And we've started this off working with Benthal Kennedy. Eglinton Square and Cloverdale Mall have been our two primary partners, and for two years now we've been recycling the coffee waste that's created in these malls. So the waste coffee ground, instead of going to the landfills, is being taken, composted, and turned into a soil product. It contains about 15% of the coffee grounds in it, and now it's getting back into people's homes and able to grow plants from your morning coffee. So what we ended up doing was picking up the recyclable coffee, storing it, composting it for six months, mixing it with manures, and blending it, and coming up with a sustainable potting soil. It's basically erasing your coffee footprint. So by buying one bag of potting soil, you have erased 53 regular cups of coffee. Some of the other components are very similar to what you see in the high-end products from, from all the big names, the, the wood finds and the peat loam. But we're able to save some of our natural resources by replacing those with coffee grounds. It is absolutely easy to use. Uh, any containers you have at home, indoor or outdoor, Starting seeds, it's excellent for starting seeds if you want to plant them indoor and bring them out into the garden in the springtime. I'm the manager for 3R Certified at Recycling Council of Ontario. It's a certification program that we're very pleased to have Cloverdale Mall as the first one in Canada to have certified their excellence in waste reduction and recycling. This event is a fantastic um, example of innovation and uh, in waste reduction and recycling. So coffee is everywhere and coffee grounds are heavy and they end up in our landfill. This is a fantastic solution to take something uh, that is normally thrown away and is actually used towards, uh, towards an, another use and a value. Everybody in this industry, whether they're a developer, an owner, or a manager like Benton Kennedy, strives very, very hard uh, to be environmentally friendly as possible. There's no other way of saying it. Well, take notice from Bentall Kennedy. I mean, with Eglinton Square and Cloverdale Mall, this is an initiative that no one had to do, but they went ahead and did it. They saw a problem, they wanted to come up with a solution, and they went ahead and came up with an innovative partnership. And this is something that can be applied countrywide, and I think it's inspirational for the shoppers here, as well as the tenants here at the mall and in Eglinton Square who would like to be able to do something with their waste. You know, we generate a fair bit of coffee grounds in our house. Imagine how much coffee grounds are disposed of at a big mall like uh, Eglinton Square or Cloverdale Mall. Because in its wet st state, the brewed coffee grounds are, they have a lot of nutrients for the soil. So we were dumping them on our flower beds and then our, in our grass, but because again, so much of it just keeps piling up, uh, we had to find something else to do with it. As Darren mentioned, the, the coffee grounds are a, a really good nutrient source, uh, specifically nitrogen. So one of the first things we looked at was putting them back into the soil and helping them grow plants, helping them keep the soil alive, feed the organisms, feed the microbes that work there. Thank you to everyone for helping to make our Grounds to Gardens event a huge success. Through our one day event, we were able to collect over 15,000 pounds of electronic waste, safely recycling and diverting them from reaching our landfills. And to top it off, we've managed to give away bags of sustainable potting soil made with the recycled coffee grounds from our food service retailer. With the help of the communities of Cloverdale Mall and Eglinton Square, we've managed to raise and donate to Evergreen, a nonprofit that strives to bring nature back to cities. On behalf of Cloverdale Mall, Eglinton Square and our partners from Reground Organics, we're pleased to present Evergreen with a donation in the amount of $3,917.50. Thank you to the communities of Cloverdale Mall and Eglinton Square for helping to make our Grounds to Garden event a huge success.